Good afternoon, welcome to Mass Live. We have got Lachlan watching. Hi Ava. Uh, we have got William and Yasmin, hello. We've got Harry in Nottingham, welcome back. We've got Robbie in Scotland, hello. We've got Leo, hi. We've got Rose, hello. Well, a few of you have come from Bit of Science, all those volcanoes today, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we've got James, we've got Sam, hello. Brilliant. We've got Laurie, who's seven, almost eight, so it must be your birthday soon. Happy birthday, Laurie, for when it is your birthday. We've got Jessica, brilliant, hello. Um, so those of you who are new, welcome. Um, I'm sure some of you who are veterans of Mass Live might already be trying the challenge. So your starter challenge is to have a go at drawing a cuboid. It doesn't matter if it's perfect, it's just so good. Um, it, to practice drawing shapes, it is in the curriculum to be able to like draw 2D and 3D shapes but normally you just are asked to learn all the different parts of the shape without having a chance to draw them so have a go, draw one, draw two, see how it comes out and then I'll model what it looks like to you in a minute, we've got so many shout outs, hello everybody uh, we've got Kate, hi Kate, we've got Ruby We've got Ellie Faye, hi, we've got George in Somerset, back for more, excellent George. Hello, we've got Tasca, we've got Marina and Asqua, hello. Brilliant. We've got Dylan and Riley. Oh, right, that's a brilliant, I'm gonna hold that. Someone's found a box that they think is a 3D shaped. Oh, I've got to imagine that now. That's a good question. Um, We've got Darcy in Plymouth, hello, we've got Mia and Noah, hi, we've got Ruby, hello, hello Kitty, welcome back, we've got Logan, brilliant, we've got Maisie, we've got Leo, hello, we've got Isabel, hi, Rufus, who's just also come from Theatre of Science, oh, has Lara been telling you all about me again, how mischievous of you Lara, no, I love Lara, love, 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 so thank you for joining in, thank you for switching over straight away. Um, I've just been asked a question, I'll come back to the quality street question because um, mainly I'm trying to remember what a quality street box looks like I'll have to, I think I know I think I know, I might have to get back to you about that one you might be exceeding my mathematical knowledge because it go, it, it's not straight, it go, I, a, like a chocolate box goes in so you lot are pushing me further and further. First we have circles, and now we have semicircles, and now it's quality street boxes. But isn't it great? Isn't it great when math just goes a little bit further? Right, a cuboid. So, some of you enjoyed this yesterday. I got messages afterwards saying, oh, it's so good to draw. And it is, it's so good to draw in math. Draw a cuboid. Right, first of all, cuboid. That means it's got to have rectangles in it, so it's not a cube, okay? And the first thing you should do is have lines that are vertical, remember? Vertical, horizontal. So you want to draw, okay? And then draw one that's just a little bit further down, and then it wants a body that's sort of next to it. Now, so you've got your two lines. Now, if I join those up, that forms one face, I'm going to come back to that word in a minute, one face my cuboid. Now, a cuboid has to extend out, okay, so this side, these faces need to be longer than this face. So what they do, they go out, so I'll draw my top, draw my top one, like that. Now, the bottom one and the top one have to be parallel, it can't go in like that, because you can see it's not going to work, okay. And if it goes out like that, it's turning, it's turning into a quality street box. So we need, you need to make sure, be really careful, take your time. Can you see that they're, they're running parallel to each other and so will the top one, roughly. And then when you've decided that your cuboid's long enough, all you do is just chop it off. And to chop it off, you do again a vertical line. So I'm going to rub that out now, don't need that. And then... The line going across needs to be parallel with the line at the side. So, something like that. See, I'm not happy with that top line, so I'm going to draw it a bit straighter. There we go. So that's a cue board. You might have done it this way. 
drawing it over there. That's, this is me rushing now. You might have drawn it that way. That's still a cuboid. It's just the other way around. And if you want to be really technical and do it so you can see through it, all you would then do is do your other line going down like that. Join it across. Can you see all these parallel lines? And then your other line will run parallel. It's a bit it's fiddly this bit, you have to run it parallel like that and you'll just see through like that. So that's if you can see through it. Okay, but have a practice. Have a practice. I'm sure there's loads of other worksheets and things like that where you can trace over them to practice a trace, have a go trace and then have a go without the tracing paper. So those of you who are new, we start with, those of you who are brand new, with new shapes this week. On Monday, we started with learning about the different 2D shapes. On Tuesday, we did about different lines. So horizontal line, vertical line, perpendicular line, parallel line, and then lines that just cross over and aren't either of them, which are intersecting lines. But it was mainly parallel, perpendicular, horizontal, vertical. And then we applied that knowledge to our 2D shapes. Yesterday we learned about 3D shapes and it was a chaotic but fun lesson because we named them and tried to draw them. You had a go at drawing them as well. And then we did a crazy run roll around our houses and our rooms and we grabbed examples of different 3D shapes. It was great fun. Now, today we're going to try and describe in a very mathematical way what these 3D shapes look like. Now, when I mean what they look like, I'm not talking about it's yellow. <laughs> I mean, it's great that you've spotted that it's yellow, but, and you could say, oh, it's tea bags. Like, <laughs> a more mathematical sense than what the contents are or what colour it is or anything like that or where you might find it. So what do I mean by that? Now, if you've got the sheet from yesterday, you'll have star, you'll have a star at the side, don't worry if you've not got the sheet from yesterday, you're absolutely more than welcome, I just want to explain to people that have got the sheet what they're going to do with it. I love how I'm trying to, I can't draw, I can draw a 3D shape but I can't draw a cloud, okay, and then we've got a heart, so I'll come back and explain what this means. So the first 3D shape yesterday we looked at was a sphere. And that's what a sphere looks like. It looks like a circle, but I did this. I did something a bit not very mathematical and drew in like a little, it's like a wonky hat, it's like a wonky triangle with a little circle at the bottom and that's sort of make it like it's a shiny side like it's a little bit round now what these mean these codes that are on the side of your sheet if you've got it is in the star boxes we're going to write how many faces each 3d side has 3d shape has in the cloud box we're going to write how many edges each one has and then the heart box we're going to write how many vertices? Why did I use stars, clouds and hearts? That's because I was keeping you all on your toes and I didn't want every, all of you to like, if I just put how many vertices, you might have all done it and gone, oh, I'm not going to watch the lesson. So keeping you on your toes. So how many faces does a sphere have? We might now start getting an argument with the circle one. But the fact that you can see a sphere the fact that you can actually see it shows you there is a face and it's the same face all the way around. So a sphere has one face. Just one, okay? One that you can see in many different directions. But how many edges does it have? Now if you think of an edge, do I keep, I'm gonna keep moving it. An edge is something you can feel it. It's a, it's a member. Okay, you can feel the edge there. If you go around the edge of something, it's like the perimeter, isn't it? 
and vertices is the posh word for corner yeah we say corner and then when we get really mathematical we say vertices but this is smooth our sphere is smooth so it doesn't have any edges or any vertices so that's our first shape our sphere where's everything going today If you've now understood this and you want to carry on, you can do. So there's our sphere. The next shape we looked at was a cube. Okay, quickly drawn by Steph. Oops. Okay, I might just do the inside just to help. Like that. Right. Faces. Now, if I get a cube, I've got one here. Faces is basically the flat side, okay? So if I count how many faces are on this cube, you've got one, you've got to turn it, so you've got one, two, the one facing me, and then one this side. So there's four, one, two, three, four, but then you've also got the one on the top and the one at the bottom. So a cube has got six faces. One, two, the one facing me, four, five, six. I can't hold everything now. So cube. So that's got six faces. How many edges has it got? Right, I'm gonna hold it like this again. So it's got one. Can you see how the end when you actually got if you if you focus on one face, it's got one, two, three, four on one face. Okay. And then it goes back one, two, three, four. And then you've got the other side, one, two, three, four. So that's four, eight, twelve. So I've had on here, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you're not sure, have a draw of your own and have a play. It's quite hard to go through the shape. So a cube has got 12. And how many vertices has it got? How many corners? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 vertices for a cube. So therefore, what must it be with a cuboid? Have a get that. Right, you tell me. You tell me. How many vertices, edges... And faces does a cuboid have? Let's have a let's have a look. Wow, there's a lot of you. Yes, 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 yes. Well done, everybody. So, can you work out the cuboid? How many of each of these there are? Yeah, well done. I'll do some more shout outs in a minute. So if you haven't had a shout out yet, just pause for a second and I will do some shout outs. If you haven't already had one. Yes, some of you spotted it's the same because a cube, Boyd, is just an extended version of a cube. That's why cube, Boyd, cube, stretched. So a cuboid is still six, twelve, and eight. There, I can finish. I don't need my cube anymore. Right, a cone. A cone like an ice cream cone. Okay, so as you've got a cone, how many faces does a cone have? Now, if you imagine you're holding it and you look at the top, there's a face. So if you imagine you've got it and you're looking up, so I'm trying to draw another way. You could draw it this way, a cone. Can you see that this here is a face? Now, do you remember with the sphere, when you could see like all the way around it? So this is one face. So if you twist it, this is also a face as well. Just one face, so you can turn it round and round and round. So a cone has two faces. It has one flat face and one, then one curved face. How many edges does it have? So how many like parts, if you were touching, how many parts would go round and round? Okay, one. 
this is the edge here. That's the edge of the cup. Yeah, you, someone might say, if you're having an ice cream, quick, your ice cream's dripping over the edge. Yeah? How many vertices does it have? Like, how many points? Where, where does, like, two parts of it meet? Here. So it's got one vertex. Vertices, more than one corner. Vertex, one corner. Vertex. Super. Right, I'm going to give you, I'm going to have a rest. I'm going to do some shout outs. So, next one is this shape. First of all, what's the name of the shape? How many faces does it have? How many edges does it have? How many vertices does it have? Off you go. Fantastic, just reading back all of you agreeing about the cuboid and the cube and being the same. Hello, Jack Barber. Hi, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hi from Finn in Malden. Hi, Phoebe, he's 11 years old. Hi, Zisha, welcome. Hi, Rihanna in Chesterfield. We are, oh, that's such a good idea. We are making the shapes with Play-Doh. Funnily enough, <laughs> I do have some Play-Doh here. I've got endless Play-Doh, thanks to my daughter. Oh, please, if you've got Play-Doh and you're making some shapes, can you send me some photos? Even if you're not doing it now, if you do it tomorrow or this weekend and you make some 3D shapes, oh, Please, can you send them to me? I'm going to do it as well. I'm going to. You've made. You've inspired me now to steal Shh, my daughter's play though to make some three D shapes. That's such a good idea. Hi, Joe H Ten. Hello, Ruby. Hi, Lily. Okay. Brilliant. Hi, Rosalind. Welcome. Hi. Okay. So this is a square based pyramid. Remember, pyramids go up prisms go out. So first of all, let's see how many faces it's got. Now, it's square at the bottom is one face. Now watch this. I'm going to do what is called the net of this shape. And this is basically, if I have a box at this shape and I unfold it at all, to all, this is what it would look like. If I unfolded the square base pyramid, that is what it would look like. And if I bent all the triangles back up, it would form this. So this Doing a net, basically pulling it all apart can really help us work this out. So there's one face, two, three, four, five. So a square-based pyramid, <laughs> I'm gonna do like that, a square-based pyramid, has five faces. Okay, how many edges does it have? Right, so we've got, let's use the actual one here. So we've got that edge there, one, two, three, four, and then we've got five, six, seven, eight. And how many vertices has it got? How many bit, that kind of corner bits does it have? Well, it's got the one at the top, so one, two, three, four, five. Tell you what's a good idea as well. I've seen this, in fact, I'm pretty sure this is on my drive um, that I share for homeschooling. You could do this with spaghetti and blue tack. So if you like make spaghetti strands and join it with Play-Doh or blue tack, you could make 3D shapes with that. That's it. So if you haven't got blue, blue, if you haven't got Play-Doh, but you know that there's some spaghetti and blue tack around, ask, ask to have a go. Okay. Now, a triangular based pyramid. So this time you've got a triangle at the bottom and it goes up like that. So how many faces does this one have? Now again, if I flattened it, it would look like this. That is what's called the net. I will do some more work on nets after this week, okay? So there's one, two, three, four. So it's got, you see it's got three triangles on the side and a triangle triangle at the bottom. 
So it's four faces. How many edges does it have? So it's got that one going up there. One, two, three, and then one, two, three. So that's six. And how many vertices does it have? Well, it's got the three at the bottom and the one at the top. Okay, so that's four. Okay, now prism this time. A triangular prism, otherwise known as a toborone. <laughs> there we go. That's where if you want to have a go at drawing it. Look, can you see how my lines there are parallel, the ones I'm doing across? So make sure if you're trying to draw it, make sure the lines going across the same distance apart. Okay, so it's a triangular prism. Right, how many, let's start the other way now, how many vertices does it have? How many corners? So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So six vertices. How many edges does it have? Now, first of all, I'd start with one of the faces because you've got one, two, three there. And then you know you've got another three on the other side. One, two, three. So that's six so far. We've also got one, two, three. So that's nine. Nine edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many faces does it have? Right, this is what, if I unfold my Toblerone, this is what it's going to look like. Because that side will fold up to make that, that side will fold up to make that, and then you need, can you see these are all rectangles, these faces, if you'd squash them all together. So how many faces has it got? One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. We have got two more shapes, okay? Right, I want you to... Shout out, who can comment first? What is the name of this shape that Steph is going to try and draw as best as possible? What is the name of this shape? I'm not drawing it very well, so don't blame me if you're not sure. <laughs> Let's see, it's so hard to draw. There we go. What is the name of that shape? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. That's its 2D shape, but I want the 3D version. Yes! I've got two. I've got Louise Redmond and Heidi Perkins. Well done. And oh, just behind. Yes, you are correct. This is a pentagon. So well done if you said a pentagon. And it's a pen, you could say pentagon prism, because it's a prism made up of a pentagon at either end. But again, we're being cool and we're being clever and mathematical. It's a pentagonal prism. Right, so I'm going to put pentagonal prism. Right, how many, again, I'm going to start with the vertices. How many vertices does it have? There's one, two, three, four, five, and then you'll have the same on the other side, so the other part, the pentagon. So I have one, two, three, four, five, so there's ten. Okay. How many edges does it have? Well, if you think, if it's got, it's just like the triangular prism and, and all the other prisms. So if it's got, you know it's got one, two, three, four, five there, and then it's going to have five on the other face. And then because it's got five edges, there must be one, two, three, four, five going along. So that means there's 15 edges. The more sides on the edge of the prism, the face of the prism, then the more edges it's going to have along. And how many faces does it have? Well, again, oh, this involves me <laughs> trying to draw this. So if I draw, an... look, what you guys are getting me to do? Right, so I'm now trying to draw for you. 
So there's the base. Can you see this is the base here? And these are our faces. And then you've got to go up one, two, three. That's the net. So if you folded all that up now, if you went, that would make a pentagonal prism. So how many faces has it got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I hope that makes sense because you've got your five for around the outside. One, two, three, four, five, and then you've got your two at the end. Okay, last one. What time is it? Oh, we don't know, right? Last one is the yellow shape. Cylinder! The toilet roll, the can of beans, the, you know, many, many different cylindrical shapes. So, I want you to tell me how many faces, edges and vertices do you think it has? Let's have a look. My blue pen has been working very hard today. Cylinder! Well done. <laughs> I know, it did look weird, my... Uh, my uh, net to my pentagonal prism. Well done everyone for naming them, brilliant. Good, well done. What is the net of a sphere? There, there really sort of isn't one. Yeah, it just sort of, because you can't have the curved, that's a good question. It's a really good question. So a lot of them's got three, two, two. A lot of people saying three faces, okay. Three faces, let's have a look. So if I make it properly 3D, let's if I can see through it. So I'll draw my other edge there and I'll put that through here like that. Okay, so yes, there's our first face. Okay. And then our second face is at the other end. So it's one, two, and then again, just like the sphere and the cone, this is all one face around the side. So there are three. One, two, three, three faces. Right, what's next? How many edges are there? Oh, right, got some answers. So edges. So there's one edge there and there's the other edge. Okay, this isn't, this isn't an edge. Okay, it's the one that you can go, that you feel like you can touch it. So there's two edges. How many vertices? How many vertices does it have? Okay. How many corners? How many pointy bits? None. So there are no vertices on a cylinder. Whew. Haven't we worked hard today? There's a lot of numbers. I think and that many numbers have stayed on my board throughout the lesson. Well done, guys. So you've actually conquered shape for all the week. Okay, you've done 2D shapes and lines and 3D shapes and you've drawn them and you've hunted for them and you've done all the information and the mathematical knowledge which makes up all these shapes. So, what are we doing tomorrow? Because it's Friday and there's still a lesson left of Maths Live and it's still shape. We're doing a quiz. I've made a quiz for you to do with all this week's knowledge. And if you haven't done a Maths Live quiz yet, oh, it's a lot of fun. Um, so I've made the quiz. I'm going to put it up on the page later. Um, print it out. You can do it in advance. Okay, you can do it in advance. If you want to have a go at the quiz, 
obviously don't check your answers because we're going to go through it. You can do it as soon as you print it out, you can do it at 10 o'clock when I launch it, or you can, I will give you a little bit of time, so I'll say, right, this was the first question, if you want to write it, that's fine, but don't cheat, because if you look and find the answers, you're not going to be very proud of yourself, where if there's the odd question where you're not sure, and you have a good guess, and you get it right, you're like, oh yes, I did really well, it's all based on this week's work, so there isn't anything that... I've not shown you before, so I'm sure you'll all do fab. So I'll see you tomorrow for the first quiz of this lockdown, which I'm excited about. Thank you very much. I'll have a go at the challenge question from today's lesson because it's a really, really good game. Okay. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.